friends and welcome back. It's Miss Birgit again. And today we are going to be talking about the feeling of feeling jealous. When we feel jealous, we oftentimes are comparing ourselves to someone else. We are wanting the attention they might be receiving. We wish we have something, an object that they have, or maybe it's even a skill that they have learned that they might be better at, or they've been working at longer. When we feel jealous, it can be tricky because we're making this comparison and it doesn't feel very good. Feeling jealous is a yellow zone emotion. And today, the book I'm going to share with you is about a boy whose family's circumstances change. And the change that his family goes through is a change that many of us are familiar with. So I hope you enjoy the book. The book is written and illustrated by Lauren Child, and it's called The New Small Person. Let's get started. The New Small Person. Elmore Green started off life as an only child, as many children do. He had a room all to himself, and everything in it was his. He was very proud of his room. He watched all of his favorite cartoons on his own little TV set. No one ever changed the channel. He could line up all of his precious things on the floor and no one moved them one inch. When his uncle Cecil gave him a jar of jelly beans, Elmore could eat every single bean all by himself in whatever order he liked. There was no need to worry about anyone eating the orange ones because Elmer Green's parents did not eat jelly beans. Elmer Green's parents thought he was simply the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person they had ever seen. And Elmore Green liked that because it is nice to be the funniest, cleverest, most adorable person someone has ever seen. But then, one day, everything changed. Somebody else came along. The new person was small and didn't do much, but still people picked it up, smiled at it, and gave it things to chew. They all seemed to like it, maybe a little bit more than they liked Elmore Green. The new small person didn't like watching Elmer Green's favorite TV cartoons and would squawk until the channel was changed. Elmer did not find shows for small people all that stimulating. But everyone else said that the small person couldn't help it because it was only small. Sometimes the small person would come into Elmore's room and knock things over and sit on things that didn't want to be sat on. Once, it actually licked Elmer's jelly bean collection, including the orange ones. As anyone knows, jelly beans that have been licked are not nearly as nice. But everyone said Elmer could not be angry because the small person was only small. Elmore Green wished the small person would go back to wherever it came from. But Elmore's parents explained that this was not possible. The 
the small person got bigger and things got much worse. One day, Elmer found the small person wearing his fourth most favorite outfit without asking. That's mine, said Elmer. It is not for small people. I want to be the same as you, said the small person. But Elmer Green did not want to be the same as someone small. So first, Elmer has to deal with the adults giving the small person all of this attention. And now the small person is borrowing his stuff. Boy, rough, huh? The small person followed Elmer Green everywhere. It wanted to sit next to him. It wanted to copy everything that Elmer did. It wanted to be everywhere that Elmer was. Where are you going, Elmer? said the small person. Nowhere said Elmore. Can I come? said the small person. When the small person said things like this, Elmore Green would go and sit up a tree. He did not want someone small following him around. One awful day, the small person moved its bed into Elmer Green's room. Now Elmer couldn't get away from it. It was always there looking at him. Sometimes it would stretch out its arms and say, Huggy! But Elmer didn't want to cuddle up to someone small. However, one night, everything changed. Hmm. Elmer Green had a bad dream. It was very upsetting. A scary thing was chasing him, waving its grabbers and gnashing its teeth. Elmer screamed, and the small person bravely got out of bed and clung onto him. Go away, scary, shouted the small person. It was nice to have someone there in the dark when the scaries were around. A few days later, Elmer Green was lining up all of his precious things, so they reached from his bedroom door all the way down the stairs. It was a very long line of things. The small person was amazed. Ooh, it said. I could make them reach to the front door if I had more things, said Elmore. I have more things, said the small person. I have at least five or three things. You can have them. Felt good to have someone there who understood why a long line of things was so special. Hmm. So Elmore started off feeling jealous and then was mostly annoyed. And now he's starting to realize that maybe there's some advantages to having this small person around, hmm? The next evening, Elmore was laughing at the TV. The small person looked at Elmore and then at the TV, and then he laughed too. It was very funny. More funny somehow with two people laughing than just one. Elmer opened his jar of jelly beans. You can have a jelly bean if you like, Albert. His brother Albert smiled. Elmer smiled back. Whichever color you like, said Elmer. Except orange. And that's the end of our story. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you got it, you, it thinking a little bit about like times in which you might have felt jealous of someone else's position in life, maybe. 
of the attention someone was getting, of the fact that they were maybe able to make decisions that you wanted to make, or they had something that you really liked. Um, but then maybe when you have a chance to step back, you realize, you know, we all have different skills. We all have things that maybe others wish they had too. There are times in which we each get attention for different reasons. And so it's a little complicated, isn't it? Well, I hope you enjoyed the story. Till next time, have an awesome rest of your day. Take care.